Hi folks, my name is Greg Turner, the radiology coach. My job is to demystify the enigmatic world of x-rays. CT scans or CAT scans are among the most sophisticated and effective studies in the radiology industry. Their diagnostic capabilities are endless, providing effective diagnostic information for millions of patients around the globe. When a patient receives a CT scan, their doctors can visualize the smallest nuances and changes, allowing many to effectively prescribe proper treatment. But to many, there is a trade-off for this procedure. CTs represent more exposure than standard diagnostic x-rays. This is because a camera that rotates around the subject is taking very rapid exposures during the scan. These are cross-sectioned images that are acquired while the x-ray tube is gradually moving from one side of the patient's anatomy to the other. As an example, when receiving a CT scan of the chest, the patient may be exposed to 100 to 200 actual exposures in a matter of seconds. The patient is scanned from the neck down through the top portion of the abdomen. The study is very comprehensive, capturing incremental images through the thorax. If we compare a chest CT with a standard chest x-ray exam, we find that the exposure is roughly 350 times more than that of a chest x-ray. A chest x-ray yields 0.02 millisieverts of exposure to a patient. A standard chest CT represents 7 millisieverts. This seems to be a gross amount of exposure on the outset, but to put this into context, the general public is predetermined an allowable amount of approximately 2 CTs per year without receiving notification from a radiation physicist. If the patient receives more than this, then their file is flagged and documented. This simply means that the patient should then be monitored for the remainder of the year as to their exposure levels. That being said, medical workers are allowed an astounding five times the amount of radiation annually as that of the general public. This, in theory, provides the green light of an equivalent of 10 CTs annually, as opposed to two. Now, we are certainly not advocating that medical workers actively engage in receiving these number of exams, but this simply puts into context allowable levels of radiation patients can receive and still not be regarded as residing in a danger zone. The general public is allowed 10 millisieverts of exposure annually. Medical workers are allowed 50 millisieverts. So that begs the question, are regulatory agencies too lenient on healthcare workers' exposures or overprotective with the general public? The answer is simply that physicists prefer to err on the safe side. In such litigious environments that we live in today, the healthcare industry cannot be too cautious about exposure levels. Although there have never been documented cases of cancer caused by medical diagnostic x-rays, experts prefer to keep it that way. Thus, exposure levels are monitored to minimum levels. Now, to answer the question of whether or not it is okay to have a CT scan, then receive additional x-rays in the coming months, we must refer back to the allowable exposure amounts presented earlier. As we mentioned, a chest CT is approximately 7 millisieverts of exposure. Since the general public is allowed up to 10 millisieverts before being monitored, it is indeed appropriate to have further x-ray exams without cause to worry about radiation exposure. Your average chest exam is 0.02 millisieverts, which means a CT patient, in theory, can receive up to 150 chest x-rays in a year in order for them to meet their allowable radiation levels. This may sound excessive, but we must simply evaluate the numbers to put this topic into context. As to patients who receive multiple CTs per year, they are indeed receiving higher doses than the general public, but there does come a point with a person's medical condition to determine the risk versus the desired diagnostic information. Quite frequently, very ill patients benefit from multiple CT evaluations. The trade-off far outweighs the prospective dangers of x-ray exposure. Patients have a lot of legroom when it comes to the number of annual allowable x-ray exposures. Contrary to standard perceptions, patients can receive multiple x-ray exams each year 
including CT exams. As in anything, it is prudent to document and track these exposures within the patient record and to decide on the appropriateness of each examination. But to our point, it is also important to help the general public to understand that x-rays are a safe and useful tool in today's medical environment. That concludes this segment on I had a CT this year, should I be worried about more x-rays? If you like this presentation, please select the subscribe button below this video. You can also tap the bell next to it so that we'll notify you when other great videos have posted. My name is Greg Turner, and I'm the Radiology Coach. And remember, mark my word and mark your films.